Hit it. Welcome to the Adam Freeland Show. The Monday episode, the Patreon episode. Mm-hmm. And if you're listen if you're interested in hearing more episodes like this, you can sign up at patreon.com slash tafts. We're having a great one right now. We're having a good day. We tried to rent a truck. They didn't have any trucks available. We got lunch. Came back to the studio. Nick got pissed off at cables. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I think that it's the it's, it's, it's shit that I ordered at Amazon, the pattern is swapped. Um, okay. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We're running out of time. We are running out of time. Mm-hmm. Guys, we've had a productive couple of weeks over here at the Global Corporate HQ. But right now, we're back to the podcast. Yeah. So what do you got going on? You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to run this one a little bit until. Why? What's going on? Well, it's your show, but also, and now I'm like solving problems in my head. So you don't want to do the podcast? Why? You're I talking. Just, you're thinking about say, the internet cable? Yeah, I, I did let's say. Let's just give. Just get. Let's just give I'll it just an get, hour. I'll just get different jacks. Why are you re? <laughs> it was already working. I switched to these these shielded jacks. Yeah. And uh, these these Chinese piece of shit doesn't work. Mm-hmm. They were working before when you had just the plastic ones in there. Plastic jacks. Yeah, plastic ones. What's the advantage of a shielded jack? Let's let the audience know. Well, the cable's shielded, which might be overkill, but I figure since we're running it next to all, like basically, there's gonna mm-hmm. be a shit ton of wires up there. Yeah. For for the lights. It's really it's overkill. There's no reason to do it. I can just use the plastic ones. It'll be fine. So you can just put those back on. I'll put them. Put back those on. cocksuckers back on. We'll I be figured good. you know you go through the trouble using. Shielded cable, you might as well, Mm -hmm. you know. We're using CAT 6 wiring? 6A. 6A. 6A, What's that? Uh, People don't care about cabling. You know, you know what you you know what kind of emails you're inviting by having this fucking <laughs> conversation. You know what you're doing. When I was shooting that episode, when you're out of town, you're like, "Do not put the cable." I on don't the want. I don't want unsolicited advice from people. <laughs> That's I your really least favorite don't. thing in the entire world. I really, yeah, yeah. I really don't need advice from people. So, guys, if you're listening, do not give naked advice. Yeah. On networking or otherwise. Mm-hmm. So, what else is in the news? You were in Nashville, Tennessee, this weekend. I was in Nashville. They got a lot of fat bitches over there, don't they? Well, they visit, I guess. They visit. It's Mooka. <laughs> What's that? Like cow Mecca. <laughs> Mooka. Yeah. <laughs> they do a they do a Hajj to Mooka. Yeah. Yeah. Those those bitches are pretty big. I was in Portland, Oregon this weekend. Mm-hmm. Those people are sickos. They're real sickos. In what way? I don't know. You got like a bunch of people suffering on the street and then a bunch of other people that are too big that are like I'm trying to explore my polyamory so can you too keep big, it down too big to fail that's what that's other women in Nashville they're too big they're to fail t- yeah they're pretty big those bitches I saw one of the one of the most horrific things I've ever seen in my life there What's that? well you know you go downtown mm-hmm. and uh, did you go to that street like their Bourbon Street area I did I went down there and then people were like that's not what to do in Nashville I'm like mm-hmm. all right what are you supposed to do and yeah like shut up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so nothing? So this place sucks? You didn't go to that place, Santa's Pub. No, what's Santa? Oh, the, the Christmas place. I loved yeah. it. I loved it there. No, that yeah. was the only place I went to in Nashville that I liked. Yeah, I really didn't do anything. Yeah, I didn't do anything either. I did the shows. Those were nice. Yeah. People were nice. And then, uh, yeah, I flew back here. I lost my refrigerator magnet. Yeah, that yeah. pissed you off. That's honestly been fucking me up. It's been Everything's <laughs> been downhill since. <laughs> I had all this wiring working. I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? I'll just for now. I'll use these. Mm-hmm. I'll use these, these cheap plastic Keystone jacks mm-hmm. just to get everything up and running. Correct. And then I was like, and then I'll do it right. Swap it out. And I swapped it out. Now it doesn't fucking work. Dude, that's infuriating. Mm-hmm. Well, we're gonna get really high speed internet. That's the. We're not even. It's like it's literally entirely overkill for now. It's just future proofing in case, in case the that the telecom companies give us higher speed internet. Yes, in case. So you're just ma- <laughs> you're creating the infrastructure of a better tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> that's for <pretty laughs> that. 
<laughs> you know me. I'm an infrastructure. Yeah, guy. you are. Yeah. Maybe we can right. get this fucking this office chair out of this box and at least do that. You want to do that during the episode? Um, we can do an unboxing video for the Patreon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, um, she was good. This is, uh, but Portland, Oregon, I, I, just going back to that, it is, I just, I don't like that place. Mm-hmm. I don't like that I place. I call it, I call it a Portland, Oregon. Yeah. Because they love abortions there. They love it. And they love being fucking poor and living outside. Mm-hmm. Being homeless is a choice. They're so pissed, the homeless there. Yeah. They're so incredibly pissed. Well, they sit around in tent, in shitty tent, it's like, all, all you own is like a, a tent that probably cost seven hundred dollars ten years yeah. ago, mm-hmm. and you just sit in that tent, what, reading Karl Marx? No, they're you're just, just fucking. You sit in there reading Karl Marx, changing your gender every five minutes. No, that's chill. Those guys still have it together, but the guys that are on the street screaming at you, those are the same the screamies. Guys. That's what they do as a job. I didn't think they said they get an alarm. They have an alarm that goes off at seven a.m. They're like, well, time to go scream. Yeah. The yeah. screamies. We have sleepies here. I, I like the sleepies. I told you that. I was driving around Portland when I was there <laughs> with Blake. Blake was uh-huh. driving me around, and there was a tent up on a hill at this intersection, just garbage surrounding it, and he points to it, and he goes, yeah, the the homeless girl who lives there is 14 years old. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that, Blake. We're How does gonna, he know that? We're not going to go into why he you knows, know that. He knows that from the crack smoking how, circuit? How you have that information. We gotta have Blake on the new show. Yeah, I would love to have Blake on the show. Blake's been uh, mentioned plenty of times on the podcast. We should have all the people that have been mentioned. We have. No, I mean like the uh, people from, mm-hmm. like the lying guy. What's his name? Mm-hmm. The guy who said we I, he hung out with the Clintons that weekend. Oh, Mike Diesel. We should have Mike Diesel. Mm-hmm. We should have that guy, uh, Tom Flood. Yeah. We should have you know all these people that have been mentioned peripherally on the podcast. Yeah. I think that would really fire up the audience. Tom Tom Fred. Tom Fred. Mm-hmm. Who is he? He was an autistic guy. Yeah. That would do stand up comedy. Yeah. And it, he was funny. Um. No, not really. <laughs> no, but he was like he was old school kind of autistic. Like what? You know, before like everyone was like you know before like hot girls were like yeah I have autism. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah. But he so he was like he he pushed carts at the grocery store, mm-hmm. and he would come to open mics and just reenact news local news broadcasts from thirty five years ago. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like yeah, verbatim. So he would set up the chairs and he'd be like, "Uh, uh, Jim Jim Vance sat here, and uh, yeah, who's that DC comic that would do an impression of Jim Vance that was just." Mm-hmm. There was, there was, you know who Jim Vance is? No, he's like a local news. He's guy. a local news anchor who was just this like kind of. Like, you know, just like a older black guy. Mm-hmm. And he'd be like, uh, you know, uh, three people were shot in Anacostia last night. And, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he, he like, he talked normally. Mm-hmm. He was on the news. Mm-hmm. And there was some DC comic that would be like, you know, Jim Vance. Jim Vance comes on. He's like, y'all ready for this shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> we know he you know, doesn't he does talk. sound like that. <laughs> no, he doesn't sound like that at all. It was a black guy doing that? No, no, that's what made it funny. Oh, that's even funnier. Yeah, it was just a racist guy. Just a guy that didn't even realize he was racist. Yeah. Yeah, and mm. that's the best. When you don't know you're racist. Mm. When you're trying to be racist, not as funny. Yeah, what's that Brooks and Dunn song about not knowing you're racist? I don't know. Mm-hmm. What's it called? Are you reading Cable for him? I'm, right now? I'm on the Amazon reviews. <laughs> you're pissed off. I am pissed off, dude. <laughs> Nick's pissed, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I don't know, dude. That Portland place has really put me in a bad mood. I mean, I guess they're all right there, but like the fan, they, they all wanted hugs. Mm-hmm. I guess they're decent people, but they it, it did it did get weird. There was a guy with spikes on his. Uh, he was like, he was like still punk. Mm-hmm. But he was like 60 years old and he's like, I love you. I love you guys so much. Yeah. And he made me hug him, but his spikes hurt me. Why did he, why did they hurt? Because he had spikes on his shirt. Like uh, like Bowser. Like Bowser. Mm-hmm. Like an evil dinosaur. Anyway, what else is in the news, Nick? They got these, vi- these migrants up in Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. yeah. 
It's pretty good. Are you reading the Amazon reviews? I'm you? reading the Amazon review. You know I can't stop myself. Can we got to do this. Look at this. Look, you see this guy. One star review, and he, he's taken pictures and made made notes. <laughs> what is it? Old model. The new model. I guess these got replaced in 2017. And the new ones, yeah, they don't, they're missing some some necessary tab. I'll tell you what, I'm going to, um, after this, I'm going to try again. I got another set, different shielded ones. You're going to get it right this time? I'm going to try with the other ones. And if the other ones work, then I'm going to make an angry phone call to our little Filipino friends at the Amazon <laughs> Customer <laughs> Service Department. Okay, Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick. That is no problem. I have processed your refund. And if there is anything else that I can help you with today, please, if please uh, let me know. Amazon kind of refunds everything. Yeah. It's a little secret. That's what I, that's what I mean. It's like everyone you were saying, wants everybody, sh- everybody shits on Jeff Bezos. Everyone so wants like, to shit on this Bezos motherfucker. The Amazon has made everyone's life so much better. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like they'd lump him in with, with Musk, and it's like Musk has done nothing for anyone. Yeah, Bezos isn't posting on Twitter. Fucking Teslas are gay. Yeah, Be- Bezos isn't posting bacon shit. He's doing not, literally. People try and dunk on him for like he's what? just trying to get wearing pussy? sunglasses or something. Yeah, being jacked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like <laughs> nice muscles, fucking piece of shit. Nice muscles, richest guy in the entire world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Bezos is cool. Yeah, some guy got mad at me apparently mm-hmm. in Portland because I was complimenting Bezos. Mm-hmm. But that's all I was saying was that it just makes sense why he has so much money because mm-hmm. everything all of us get is from him. Mm-hmm. He's not like this f- fucking fucker Musk. Mm, yeah, he's not like this ass clown Musk. Pussy, pussy baby, pussy baby Musk. Yeah, um, Elon Musk is also an Emmy. They should send him to Mars. His vineyard. Yeah, I'd love to see him there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should do Is we should put his ass On a plane Oh I would love that And send his black ass To Martha's Vineyard <laughs> I'm gonna be on Twitter Be one of those guys Go back like, to Africa Oh I hope you I hope you enjoy Criticizing a black American <laughs> <laughs> A black man Who came here To be black And invented The gayest car Of all time <laughs> Yeah, good job. Good job inventing a guy who finally made cars for gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's making queer cars. Mm-hmm. He's a black queer guy. Those cars suck. Yeah. Apparently, the quality control is not very good. Yeah, of either. course it's going to go downhill. It's like anything else. It's like fucking Teslas are the same thing as Equinox. They start anything that starts off as a fucking like luxury item that they eventually like, mm-hmm. you know, let anybody buy. It becomes shit. That's what happened to the fucking Titanic. I guarantee if they weren't letting fucking poor people hang out in the basement, they would have figured out a way to drive that ship the right way. Yeah, that's true. It went downhill. Yeah. It's just, that's the only criticism I got for Bezos is that's, that's mm-hmm. what happened to Whole Foods. Imagine you're the you're The, the fucking, avocados are now all fucked at Whole Foods. You're the iceberg guy. That's yeah. your job on the Titanic. Mm-hmm. You sit in that fucking crow's nest and you look out for icebergs. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, first trip, Titanic, just rich people. I guarantee you, you're on your P's and fucking Q's. Yeah. Because they're tipping you out. They're just, they're, they're palming you a hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. In that old timey 20s money, back when the dollar bills were the size of a VHS tape. They just, they fold it up, hand it to you. Origami. Yeah. They'd give it to you. You know, and you're like, fuck yeah, I'm going to make, well, I'm going to do my f- ass job. Yeah. And make sure we don't hit an iceberg. I got then, captains of industry on this boat. Second trip. Uh huh. Uh, we let a couple Irish people hang out in the basement. Doing jigs. And the first time, yeah, one of, you see one of those guys spitting in, in the stairwell. No respect. Yeah, and you're like, fuck this fucking job, dude. Yeah. Fuck this job. I'm going to I'm gonna not take this shit serious. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to blow doinks out on the, <laughs> the crow's nest. Me and I'm Ephraim. smoke nugs. Me, me and Ephraim are going to blow doinks on the crow's nest. nugs. Oh, whoops, the boat crashed. Yeah, exactly. That's what a Tesla is. Yeah, Tesla is they wait they they let too many, yeah, too many Irish people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too many That's the logic. <laughs> yeah, too many barefoot Irish people started driving Teslas. Dude, that's where it went downhill. Yeah, another pieces of shit. No. No, those those cars are gay, dude. Mm-hmm. And they crash all the time, apparently, or some shit. Dude, know. these fruit cordial eggs are dog shit. What are they? I don't know, but they're not good. 
They're about present from Dr. I Dan. I also guarantee they're not vegan either. I shouldn't be snacking on these. Why are you eating them? I don't know. I'm killing a little bunny. I'm killing the Easter bunny by eating Isn't it Easter in a long time from now? Yeah. Let's see what it's got. Fellas, is it gay to hunt for Easter eggs? You know it's gay. Mm-hmm. What were we talking about? The guy that goes and gets the Easter eggs before the kids can? <laughs> when was that? I don't know. Was it on the show? I forget. I was thinking about that the other day. <laughs> Dude, that guy's cool. Also, also, what I put him? It was a British guy. <laughs> was it? Him? Yeah, trying to find a dumb thing for a British guy to say. <laughs> <laughs> also, what I put him? That might be the funniest guy ever on the show. <laughs> Just a dumb British guy. <laughs> the car crashing with the plane. <laughs> I might even fuck it. Yeah. Well, if we'll go. <laughs> mm-hmm. That guy's amazing. Damn. Next video episode, I might have to get a little, get a little British guy outfit. Well, you could do a chimney sweep, and then you can get away with the black face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, well, I don't want to get. I'm no That's why they face. did that. I don't want to do any more black face. What do you mean any more? I'm giving up on it. Let's see. What do we got? Al- used to Al- chill. Almondina. Used to chill with uh, what's the Trudeau back in the day? Mm-hmm. It would be fun to have, like, a secret blackface party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just everyone has to put their phones in a basket. Mm-hmm. Just so we can enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Just enjoy the feeling. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in Canada? Are they still, like, vaccine psychos up there? I don't know. Yeah. Is it? I think so. Is it hard to get into Canada? Um, no, but... It's like, hard to get out? I, you can check in. I don't know. I've, but you can never leave. Yeah, I had shows that I canceled. I mean, I didn't have to because I have the vaccine, but... Yeah, but you did. You canceled. I canceled for different reasons. Yeah, even though you have it. Because the queen was sick, and I was I had to take... It's a member of the Commonwealth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would be fucked up of you to have a show there. I'm going to start canceling... I'm going to can't start canceling shows for bullshit reasons. Like, let's say you have COVID every weekend. Yeah. Yeah, no, you got to find something that's completely unbelievable. Just okay. really... Generate a lot of ill will with the people willing to buy tickets. Yeah, what could you get? What do you mean, what could I get? Mm-mm. You got, um, I mean, what could you say as an excuse? Um, I lost my social distortion CD. <laughs> <laughs> my CD that I have to, my walk, I lost my walk, man. Yeah. And I need to listen to it on the plane. I've, I've late onset affluenza. Mm-hmm. Remember when they beat up that Chinese doctor on the plane? <laughs> what was it for? <laughs> I can't remember. Just being Chinese. For COVID? No, it was before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they do it? I don't know. He like wouldn't put his seatbelt on or something. That's or not nice. He was playing words with friends. <laughs> the seatbelts are really annoying. I got in trouble on the plane. I was telling you on the... That's hilarious. Only, you're the only person this would happen to. I was on the plane yesterday <laughs> sleeping on the way back to New York and the lady sitting next to me was like excuse me she woke me up and she's like you've been passing a lot of gas Mm -hmm. how many times do you think a day you fart I don't know I say probably a hundred times on the way to Nashville I sat next to an African guy and I took a peek at his phone and his text messages are all just not a single contact just all just massive numbers what is that I don't know I'm assuming he just gets nothing but scam phone calls and He's just getting catfished by women all day long. You think that happens to him? No. He was kind of dressed like Jidana. He was wearing a suit that was too tight. Oh, I hate that look. Yeah. That look really needs to go away. Yeah, that's a big thing here. Too. The Aziz suit? Yeah, guys that wear it's the... It's really bad. The guys that wear the, the super tight suit and then the, the, the pant leg is too short. It's a terrible look. They go no socks and short. Yeah, guys, the the outfits on the show when 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 we launch the outfits on the show will be tasteful. I mean, the very least, British guy. Yeah, we're not going to be wearing that shit. Yeah, we are not going to be. I'm going to be wearing '90s Armani. Damn, I wish I had lived 30 years ago. Can you imagine? I would have loved to have. 30 years ago was like uh, 2014. Yeah, I would have loved to have come up with Austin Powers. <laughs> if that was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know when people say that? They're like, I was born in the wrong. I'm like, if I, if I could have. You know? Yeah, I should have been in the 1920s. Yeah, yeah. I would have come up with, I would have come up with Austin Powers. <laughs> if Austin Powers could have been my idea. <laughs> oh, God. 
That would have been cool. Everyone would have thought you were a genius. Mm-hmm. Wait, did Mike Myers... That was one of his characters, I guess? Who? Mike Myers. What, did he have a character? Austin Powers. Oh, right. I mm-hmm. forgot that Austin Powers wasn't like just a British guy. No, yeah. it wasn't. I thought it was a you guy. You thought that, it was a biography. Well, I thought it was a guy that was just sort of like that. You thought it was based on a true story. Yeah, it's like, you know how they only <laughs> get British people to play uh, James Bond? Yeah, it's true. I thought Austin Powers was a similar thing. They just mm-hmm. found a British idiot. <laughs> he's not, he's not from they me. found a goofy British guy. He's Canadian, mm-hmm. in fact. Yeah. Um, his yeah. parents are British. That's why he did that. He based the so. character on his parents. Was it was his dad Austin Powers? Uh, Myers's dad was Austin Powers. Yeah, and his mom was Wayne's World. His mom was like Garth, and his dad was Garth. Is based his, on his mom. His dad was the Love Guru, and his mom was Garth. I gotta watch the Love Guru again. Mm-hmm. I think based on everything we think is funny, that movie might be pretty good. We should do it in here, dude. We should get a. We should have a view. We should put a projector here. We should put a projector here, and then we can watch movies over there during the show. It'd be sick. Yeah. It'd be so sick. Yeah. We got a big week. How about Boston Powers? Mm-hmm. Have Have we done that character before? Yeah. What about Austin Powers? And he's like, "Do you guys like breakfast tacos? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you like keeping it weird? Yeah." Oh no! I, all right, all right, all, all right. right, all right, all right. Yeah, that's the thing I love about British girls. Yeah, I get older, they're still has fucking anyone, British. Has anyone made a "Keep Boston Weird" T-shirt? Mm-hmm. They have. Mm-hmm. That's been done. Well, that's a good idea. Has anyone made a "Keep Autism Weird" T-shirt? Brendan Walsh did that. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Brendan Walsh did that for sure. Brendan Walsh came up with everything, Brendan, including Austin Powers. Yeah, he was. A lot of people forget that Brendan Walsh came up with Austin Powers. God damn it. Mm-hmm. He doesn't get any credit either. Yeah. I haven't seen Walsh. What is Walsh up to these days? I don't know. That's a funny guy. Where is he? I think he's been in Los Angeles for like 15 years now. Maybe he's been in prison. What do you think he's in there for? Being too funny. What's going on with L.A. comedy these days? I don't know, dude. I have no idea. I haven't checked. We should start. I mean, it's all MMA. It's all like MMA. We should start going guys live or? via satellite to Bobby Lee, but in a way where he has no way to consent to it. Like, there's just a, a drone that goes into his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> He's just, just in bed. <laughs> yeah. Just waking him Wherever up. he is, we go yeah. live via satellite. If I it's got DJ, a little camera. DJI on it. drone. Yeah, yeah, just it shoots out one of his windows and goes in his house. Yeah. Go, Bobby, what's up? It's five AM mm-hmm. in LA. I would love to I would love to go get him on the show. Bobby's great. Bobby's funny. So he can do his classic Miss Swan character. Yeah. That was Bobby Lee, right? I was at Zany's in Nashville. Mm-hmm. They have like posters of everybody. And there's a poster of Ralphie May in the green room there. Oh, nice. Where they, you know, they have, you know, they'll illustrate like people sometimes. Like usually they'll do it with fat guys where they'll illustrate them and they'll make them like strong instead of fat. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, like big forearms. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, they're yeah, right. Like they've been like a, they're like a f- colonial fucking. How do they illustrate them? Even fatter. Even fatter. That's so <laughs> mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was Ralphie like, May. I was looking at it. I was like, was Ralphie May that fat? Did you Google? Uh, yeah, and he's definitely not. He wasn't that fat. He was pretty fucking fat. He was. He was pretty. He, yeah. he might be the second fattest comedian of all time. Yeah. Yeah, we know. Uh, who do you think is the fattest? Hmm. Maybe you want to take a little shot, a little pea shooter shot. No, no, okay. Well, I don't know. I f- just forgot the other guy. Mm-hmm. Um, Lavelle Crawford. Yeah. There you go. Is he? No, he's probably not as fast as, as Lavelle. What a funny name. Lavelle. Mm-hmm. Carvel. Car- uh, his mom was like, His mom was like, you know what? I like that little part of the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> when I have a son, Ooh. I like that little part of He's going to be like a CEO type of guy. He's going to be like the part of the little part. The little part. <laughs> you know that little part. <laughs> that way everybody knows my son wears suits. <laughs> LaVille. I'm going to call him LaVille. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that is a cool name. He's a very funny comedian. Lavelle Crawford. I like his bit about with the mom you, yelling you, at you, the kid. You, you do his bit. I'm going to grab my coffee real quick. I'm not going to do his bit. There's a bit where it's a mom yelling at a kid, telling him to go to the grocery store. And then the kid repeats the grocery store list. And he does it in a very funny way. That's pretty much the bit. You guys should check it out on YouTube.com. I think it's Lavelle Crawford. Maybe it's not even him. Maybe it's just a... <laughs> Maybe it's uh, Red Fox. <laughs> it's just uh, Maybe it was Gary Coleman. What happened to Gary Coleman? He died, right? Uh, yeah, he fucking fell and like hit his head, and then his like wife didn't do anything. Really? You can hear him like screaming and di- like bleeding to death in the background on the nine one one calls. She's like, "Get up." Who's yeah. his wife? A dumb bitch? Yeah, some dumb bitch. She was like a dumb Jewish girl? She's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm into black guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into tiny black guys. I'm into like little black I, guys. I call him my little lapel. I call him lapel. He's my lav mic. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um. So, uh, uh, you going to Chinatown after this? No, I'm going home. What are you going home for? To eat dinner. Because... It's Rosh Hashanah. And ba 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 It's the very special Adam Friedland yeah. show, Rosh Hashanah special. Yeah, today is the Rosh Hashanah So let's special. talk about Rosh Hashanah for a minute here. Mm-hmm. Rosh, who was that? R- it means head. It means Ross from Friends. And Ross from Friends. Ross yeah. from Friends Hashanah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were Jewish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Gellers. Just calling up B&H. And you're like... I was going to order a bunch of stuff, but I was wondering <laughs> if I could get maybe a discount. My name is uh, uh, Ross. Ross Keller. Ross Shana. <laughs> Ross Shana Geller. <laughs> yes, that's my real name. What was that news, st- the, the local news story when we were at the drugstore today? It was like uh, Jews everywhere, all over the New York metropolitan area or no, celebrating no Russia. Yeah, it was about Russia John and that one like people are finally they're not scared to go to temple anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pandemic ended fifteen years ago. People it's just fine. we're not we're not living in fear anymore. Mm-hmm. We found other things to be afraid of. Oh that's so funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're d- now we're just o- we're only afraid of the blacks. How about Boston and Hashana? Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. And it's like what? It's like Happy New Year, kid. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Nice dick. <laughs> nice dick, kid. <laughs> nice dick. Where'd you get the top cut off? Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you get the top cut off? Did mm-hmm. you get it cut off at Rosh Hashanah? Mm-hmm. How about like a like a like a you know like a Christmas story? And mm-hmm. there's a Jewish Ebenezer Scrooge. Uh, Scrooge. He's real stingy and or not stingy. He gives he gives too much on Hanukkah, mm-hmm. and the Hanukkah ghost comes and he's like, "I mean, it's nice to give people stuff, mm-hmm. but this is crazy." And yeah. then he takes him he takes him away from his bed and he shows him like, "You gave your nephew fifty dollars for ha- Hanukkah last year. If you gave him twenty five, look how happy he is. The same happy if you had invested that extra mm-hmm. twenty five, it would be worth." Three hundred and fifty-two dollars right now. If you put it in Apple stock, <laughs> and Jewish Scrooge is like, "Oh my God, what have I done?" You know, I've as ruined. It's like they say, it is better to receive than to give. I've ru- <laughs> I've been ruining Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank and you, ghost of, of of Hanukkah future. I learned the true meaning of Hanukkah. How can I possibly make this up to you? Well, usually I charge about seventy-five dollars an hour, but yeah. what are you looking at? Uh, just I wanted to see what time it was, but I checked the wrong clock. Mm. Okay, good. Yeah, so it's Rosh Hashanah today. Do you have any New Year's resolutions for the Jewish New Year? Yeah, no more buying fucking Chinese jacks off Amazon. You learned your lesson. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Yeah, well, I'm proud of myself yeah. for dancing in the moonlight. Mm-hmm. Everyone was feeling warm and bright. Yeah. It's such a fine... It's such a... What is the lyric? What lyric? Dancing in the moonlight. Yeah. Everyone was Sucking feeling... Sucking on a man's penis. And it's so yeah. fine and natural thing. That's a great song. Mm-hmm. That's a great song, brother. 
That's a great song. So what else is in the news? They got these fucking immigrants over in Martha's Vineyard. Dude, it's really pissing me off. You, you're pissed off at the fucking cable. I'm pissed you're off at my phone. Immigrants? <laughs> I'm mad about these fucking illegals, mm-hmm. dude. They have no respect. What's good? What for do they the do? Borders. What's the, what, is that going on still? They just put them up there and then they're doing nothing up there. Dude, you know they're doing shit up there. Obama put them to work at his house. Obama's got a plantation of them damn Venezuelans. Dude, someone's posting. Someone's posting what? I can't say. Why? Let me just show it to me. Someone's ex-girlfriend is posting. Oh. Pics. What are they? What are they posting? I don't know. Our friend just went through a breakup. Shout out to our friend. Yeah. We're mad and she's at her. F- she's flexing here too. Yeah, we're mad at her. It's They're not gonna know who it is, but. This bitch. Suffice it to say, we're mad at her. Yeah, she's a fucking bitch. Yeah, and if anyone finds out who it is, yeah. it's a shoot on sight situation. It's a kill this woman situation. If you want to really be friends with me and Nick, <laughs> if you want to really pay tribute to your capos, you gotta look. You gotta look out for our friends. You gotta, you gotta look out for your... our boy. You want to get with. You want to get with my. If you want to be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. And you if gotta, you could only you gotta gotta murder their ex girlfriend in cold blood. I was walking around the streets and I passed by some like extremely homeless guy, mm-hmm. right? Just fucked up, you know, like a classic New York yeah, yeah. shirtless, yeah, shirtless homeless guy covered in shit. Yeah. And as I walk by him, he just starts belting out perfectly. By the way, that fucking tonic song. <laughs> He's like, if you could only see the way she loves me, <laughs> maybe you would understand. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just homeless. Wait, the boy, could, I mean, does that it was that when it all went wrong? Yeah. What year was that? That might be the guy from Tonic. <laughs> <laughs> it might be him. Yeah. <laughs> well, you fuck me. Fuck me in my ass. Fuck me in my ass. If you could only see the way if you could she fucked only me. See the way she for me. She for me in my ass. She for me in my ass. She for me in my ass. I do not want to get for by her boy. She <laughs> for me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if you can only see If you can only see She for me way. She for me <laughs> She for me and my it might, be like, it might be one of the most cruel and despicable characters Which what? is a, a man who comes here <laughs> As an illegal immigrant yeah. In fact a day laborer And he's constantly finding a way to get Dude, raped that started By as, a woman That started as an absurd joke Years ago, and I guarantee we're six months out from Sean Hannity being like, great news if you love trans people so much, Boston. Well, maybe you love immigrants and trans people at the same time. (laughs) Governor Abbott has hired trans people to rape illegal immigrants that have been sent to Massachusetts. (laughs) I think this is uh, I think this is one of the best ideas I've ever heard. And to join to agree with me wholeheartedly is uh, a retired NYPD NYPD detective who was kicked off the force for podcasting <laughs> for po- for driving around in his cruiser podcasting. And we have him on. And do you think this is a good idea? I think it's a great idea. It's a Sean. great idea. Thanks Sean. for coming on. Sean, it's a great idea. Donald Trump's balls, beautiful looking. I saw another. He sent me another picture of them <laughs> last night. They're gorgeous. The, his balls are looking even better every time I see them. I can't wait to suck on them, Donald. He's gonna be back in the White House. I'm gonna <laughs> suck his balls, suck his cock. He's gonna bust all over my face. He has the biggest dick I've ever seen. Uh, Joe Biden can't say that. No, That's he not can't. something you could say about no, Joe Biden. Can. No, you can can't. say it about Donald Trump, though. You can put Donald Trump's cock. In your mouth and suck on it, and it's come taste good. <laughs> I, you know, my my niece, she she uh, she forced me to go to Jamba Juice with her. I mm. tried all the juices, and I told everyone in there, none of this tastes as good as Donald Trump's cum. I said, why does why don't you have and that as a, a flavor? 
That's a fucking. I'm fact. opening a place. It's called Hannity's Juice, <laughs> and every fla- every flavor. It's a. F- I'm, I bought out Fud Rockers, <laughs> and I replaced all the ingredients with Donald Trump's cum. <laughs> And that's my business idea because I'm a job creator. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Smooth job creator. That's a song about Jeff Smooth Bezos. Job, job creator. Smooth job creator. Well, I guess he's bad because of the warehouses. That's what it is. Smooth job creator. I love yeah, that guy that got pissed at you probably worked at an Amazon warehouse. Yeah, I probably deserved it. Mm-hmm. But I, I didn't say that. I just said that. Imagine like you were in the old west and you had a town store, mm. and then the Sears catalog came. Yeah, that's probably what it's like for someone with a store, and now Amazon comes. Yeah, it's just like you can't stop it. Mm-hmm. But I guess someone got their pussy in a bunch. Somebody's pussy got knotted up. Someone's pussy got. got <laughs> Came out inside out and then and just tied up into a knot. Mm-hmm. Great. Now I have to go back to the doctor. Great. Thanks a lot, Adam. Great. Now I have to get my pussy untied by the doctor and stuffed back in and dilated. My put my yeah. You made my pussy into a I think that's goddamn actually, balloon. Animal. I think you're not supposed to say the word dil- dilating. Why? I think it's transphobic to say that. That's like too far. Dilated. Yeah. If you make jokes about dilating. I think that's like uh, that's like too far because of the post op surgery. Or yeah, the it's, I think it's something they have to do. You have to like it's like a piercing; it'll close up. Yeah, you have to thing. sleep with a dildo in or like a or like a ruby stud. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a big, a big <laughs> <laughs> like a big gauged out. Yeah, you got to get gauged. That's the other thing I forgot about until I went to Portland. Mm-hmm. Your gauges? They're still doing gauges. Mm-hmm. You ever see a guy where he just blew his shit out and he just got <laughs> and he tried to go back? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he tried to like put a polo on and get, like get a job. If you could only see the way she for me, she won't need my the job. The detectives are just recording it. They're like, "That's very good. Let's do the song one more time, and this time a little bit more emotion when you hit the uh, the chorus, please, Hector." And the way she for <laughs> me, <laughs> she for me. In my- him, him just being on the yeah. news. Hey, Donnelly, these fucking song <laughs> confessions that you've been doing, like song victim statements, yeah. they're a hit. They're a goddamn hit. The judge loves them. You're a genius. Wow. Shout out to, I just want to make a public shout out to my friends, Sammy and Max, who do all the fulfillment for my t-shirts. In two days... They have fulfilled every single order from Friday. Wow. Guys, and if you want the t-shirts, there are two new t-shirts out. AdamFriedland.com slash shop. They should call you Adam Business. We sold a lot of shirts, folks. We sold a lot of shirts. Adam Jonathan Business. The beautiful shirts. Donald Trump is one of the best businessmen that have ever lived. That there's ever been. If Donald Trump opened a bank, not only would I keep my money in that bank... I would put naked pictures of myself in a safe deposit box <laughs> and mail him the key personally <laughs> and say, don't let anyone open this. This is compromise. This is, this f- is for your this is, eyes This only. is for blackmail. If you want to take a peek, <laughs> let me know what you think. Let me know. Perhaps we can, we can become pen pals or I can hold your pocket while you walk around the prison yard. If you go to prison, Donald Trump, I'm going to be committing a crime. I'm not only I will and download. I'm going there. I'm going to sit in the middle of Times Square and download child pornography on my computer yes. until they take me to the same prison as Donald Trump where I will be his girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and that I'm I and that is a public promise to our president. Mm-hmm. Our true president, Donald Trump. I've already picked out names. I'm thinking maybe I'll be Tiffany in there. Tiffany Hannity. You can call me Tiffany Hannity, Tiffany Haddish, you can call me whatever you want. Listen, he's gonna need a replacement Wait, for Melania. Did she fuck a kid? Who? She fucked a kid. Tiffany Haddish? Yeah. Uh, it's, what? it's been in the news and they kind of buried it. Damn. I'm gonna look it up. Girls Trip to Little St. James. How about that? Oh, you're, you're actually just gonna be on the phone. No, I'm looking it up. Child sexual abuse allegations. Child. Are we sure child. Was, yeah, are we sure it wasn't that kind of child? No, I think. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, there's only one I in the word, so I think it's just honey the child. Kids. Does it end with an E? What? Or an e? What? This news story is crazy. Mm. Wait, it's not just her. It's um, the entire cast of Girls Trip. Uh, a woman identified as Jane does as a young lady mm. filed a request to dismiss. Oh, she dismissed her claim that Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears oh. coerced her and her brother, identified as John Doe, into recording sexually explicit skits on camera when they were minors. Oh, so What is that? She didn't fuck a kid, I It's guess. basically, when, you know, like how you had a 14-year-old come in here. She wasn't actually 14. She was, she was, I believe, 19 years old. And uh, you called me and said, we have, we have two 10-year-olds coming in. And I said... We mm-hmm. did cut the... We, we, we did said, shoot. We did shoot with little kids. And but said, that, those were not sexually explicit skits. And I skits. said, absolutely not. Do not do that. But their dad was here. He thought it was cool. I think he likes the podcast. Yeah, what happens when they don't think it's cool anymore? Yeah, well, we took, it out of the, we took it out of the episode. What happens when they don't think it's cool? You know what else they took out of something that didn't end up in the final cut that was still a huge issue? Brian Brian Singer filming a bunch of nude children in a locker room mm-hmm. for the movie. I think X Men First Class. Apt pupil. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I believe you've you've told me about that mm-hmm. before. More like clapped pupil. Yeah, clapped. Mm-hmm. <laughs> clapped. <up. laughs> My family and I have known Tiffany Haddish for many years. And we now know that she would never harm me or my brother. Mm-hmm. So they they buried it, dude. They yeah. got the Jewish lawyers. Mm-hmm. They got the good lawyers. Mm-hmm. It got dismissed. Shout out to Tiffany for beating the case. Yeah, Tiffany Haddish. More like Tiffany Haddish bitch told me she was a pedophile. Maybe I wouldn't have enjoyed girls' trip so much. Dude, you got to see the beginning of her special mm-hmm. black pot mitzvah. Do you want to come it is over? Truly, it is truly insane. Want to watch a girl stripper with me? <laughs> Who wants to come to Wickram's Maybe house? Trip. <laughs> Who wants to come to Wickram's house to watch Gerald's <laughs> trip? <laughs> um... Tiffany Hatter said, I know a bunch uh, I know people have a bunch of questions. I get it. I'm right there with you. Yeah. Unfortunately, because there is an ongoing legal case, there's very little I could say right now. But clearly, while the sketch was intended to be comedic, <laughs> well, it was for a sketch. Yeah. It was like two little kids what got raped. What the fuck was going on in that sketch? <laughs> well, I, I need to see this yeah, sketch. It's got to be a banger. It's got to be so funny. Tiffany Haddish is fucking funny. She's dude. very so talented. Is, yeah, Harry Spears is funny, too. He's super talented. Yeah. I'm going to need to His impressions are amazing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to need to see that sketch. This is our, this is our Pete Townsend moment happens. Your yeah. Honor, we thought it was a funny sketch. We <laughs> We were doing. We research. thought it was a good sketch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get brought up on child pornography, and yeah. you're like, "Listen, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, imp- I'm in the second city." Yeah, I'm it makes you think. City. What the hell is the first city? It's so Little Saint did James. Did we already do this joke? No, the joke was uh, in that episode that the gay guy we had. He said he did third city. I no, said, what no, city no. is that? Long he said Tacoma. Ago, what was the first city? It was like... I don't know. It's like Saudi Arabia or something? I don't know. I keep having deja vu. It was Mecca. Damn. I kind of want to go to the movies tonight. Dude, we fucking missed Avatar 3D IMAX. Yeah. You want to go later this week? Yeah. If it's still running? I kind of want to go to the movies tonight. Dude, I never saw once Avatar... I, once I sit down here and fiddle with these wires for another... I'm I just, never saw... Here, I'm going to be here till 5 a.m. I know. You're going to be... Fu- you're st- I'm glad you're not p- as pissed as you were at the beginning of this episode. Mm-hmm. But um, I have never saw Avatar 3D IMAX because I knew that I was about to break up with this, with this girl, Meg, and... I had I didn't have the courage to break up with her Meg yet. Meg Stalter? I forgot you guys dated. No, it wasn't Meg Stalter. Very funny comedian, by the way. Yeah. Um, no, but I I didn't the I didn't have a like maybe that's what that should be next for you is big fat woman. What do you girlfriend. mean next? That's my that's my life right now. Yeah. You know I'm with a loud type of big bitch. No, you're not. I know she's not <laughs> at all. <laughs> she's a lovely, beautiful woman. Yeah. Um. So no, anyway, so you know I, everybody knows our style. We go on a double date. We're sitting at the table. That entire table is weighing fucking combined 185 pounds. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not that's not ours. And we all share we all share one big noodle. <laughs> <laughs> we all just suck around the noodle disc. Dude, 
My dad, I, I, I don't know if I've said this on the show, but my dad saw Avatar 3D IMAX. I didn't go... And he cried, the most beautiful movie. He didn't cry, no, but he got depressed. Mm-hmm. He got depressed for the... For, it was the third time I've ever seen him get, mm-hmm. like, kind of lose his mind. Yeah. And it was because he's been living on this planet his whole life, and it was the first time he got to live on another planet. Yeah. And then the movie ended, and he wanted to go back to Pandora. And be with the Navi. <laughs> I, I truly thought that was one of the gayest movies I've ever seen. I didn't enjoy a second of it. Did you see it in 3D IMAX, yes. though? I heard it's like a, a fucking ride. No. I, I heard it's an amazing ride. No. No. I, I want to I see it, dude. I never got to do it because that you know girl made... an amazing ride? The Tower of Terror. Yeah. Disney World. Is it? Scary. It's not that scary. Um, I told you I went on that line, roller coaster the, at that mall in New Jersey. The line is scary. Yeah, the line at Tower, Tower of Terror. Terror. They really, they really went all out for that fucking. That must be the coolest job in the world, is being, being the guy into industrial music that that, <laughs> that designed <laughs> the Tower of Terror setup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just some guy getting Trent Reznor. Yeah, some guy getting some guy with colored contacts getting autistic pussy in 1997. <laughs> it was West Borland. Yeah. Um. No, my dad got seriously depressed, dude. Yeah, that Avatar is... He was one of those people. The yeah. The V thing. It, the, you know, the first two times I mm-hmm. saw him like that? First time, O.J. Simpson. Really? He thought... He was like the only... He thought that the way the world had set him up, mm-hmm. the white police officers also set up O.J. Simpson. Yeah. My dad was an O.J. innocent guy. Well, that's funny because it's a lot of like boomers. Will, <laughs> there's boomers will they remember like the the two months in their early years where they maybe went to a protest or something, mm-hmm. and then they're like they get yeah, to they the think end of we their tried life. to make a difference. Yeah, right. Yeah. They get to the end of their life and they're fucking. We were stores. revolutionaries, man. Yeah. No, you just fucked without a condom. Like, yeah, yeah. Right. You fucked some girl with a nasty smelling pussy. Yeah. You put patchouli oil on and fuck some nasty yeah, bitch. You got patchouli hole. You got some patchouli puss. You got a bunch of you fucked. You got a, a little bit of patchouli puss. Yeah, you fucked a pussy that looked like a like a Thanksgiving table decoration. <laughs> 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 a fucking gourd, a horn. That was the first time OJ. He was like losing his mind over OJ. Second time, when Bush stole nine eleven, the two thousand election. Mm-hmm. When B- Bush, the hanging Bush, Chad. Bush stole the twin towers and brought them to when Texas. Bush stole the, t- the twin towers. There, what if we found that out? Crawford. What if yeah? What if they? What if there was like Google mm-hmm. satellite images and the twin towers were just in West Texas somewhere, mm-hmm. and Bush had stolen them? Mm-hmm. You know what the? And that's why none of the Jews were in the tower. <laughs> they were t- tattled, and it yeah. wasn't because Israel did it. And once again, they've been scapegoated. I was saying on stage the other day. Like yesterday, but mm-hmm. like that text that people got from Israel, the Jews got from Israel the day before, yeah. and they were just like gentle reminder. But mm-hmm. I don't, I don't want to interrupt anything. But tomorrow we're doing nine eleven. Yeah, it's gonna be nine eleven tomorrow. It's, so you're gonna have. You might not want to go to work. Um, real quick though, we should. You are you good to wake up real early and get this truck and get all this shit done tomorrow? Yeah, I tomorrow. thought Mom was gonna pick it up. Mm, no, because we don't still don't have a date as to when they're. Gonna what time do we have to get the truck? Off. I don't know, but early. But then also UPS is dropping stuff off, and they're not doing door release. I am down, but my I have to get my fucking car, dude. My car is in the fucking tow. Just leave it. <sighs> Your car's not worth shit, dude. But what am I gonna do? The car's worth less than it. What do I do? I cancel the insurance. You you leave the car in the lot forever until. You know, in 10 years, you check the contro- comptroller's website and see if you get any money for it. They pay you for it? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know if I could do that. Uh, you go to probate court and you find out. My dumb bitch girlfriend di- left my car on a street that was t- that they're resurfacing. Yeah. And so now I, uh, my car fucking Meg Stalter time. strikes again. Meg Stalter is a very nice person. She does not... She she would she would never be with girl me. your Adam's girlfriend Meg Stalter. She would never be with a fucking loser like me. Mm-hmm. A fucking wide eyed. You don't know that, dude. Wide eyed. Maybe I'm setting you guys up. Wide eyed daydream believer. I have a girlfriend, Nick. Meg's. Gonna, I have a girlfriend. Meg's gonna be like, I can't believe you let Nick say all those awful things about me. And you're like, what awful things? And she's like, that I'm big. And you're like, what awful things? 
And then she's like, that's rude. And then, no, and then she's like, what does that mean? And you're like, personally, I don't think that's awful. I think it, I don't think it's awful. I either. think it's beautiful. And then she's like, well, I'll get your car out of the inbound line. My girlfriend should get and my fucking car for me. Why? Because it's her fault. Uh, how is it her fault? I thought you were living that fucking piece of shit just on the street. It wasn't. It's not. It doesn't even run. Well, it doesn't start. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she could have just fixed my car for me, yeah, and then moved it so it didn't get fucking towed, dude. I just want to know what the sketch was that <laughs> Tiffany Haddish did. Sorry, we can't both be doing phone stuff. Phone man, suck my dick and eat my ass. I gotta see this sketch. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Tiffany Haddish claims she has no job after pedophile sketch lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah, fuck these, dude. Abusing children during a 2013 sketch. Yeah. Well, I just need to know what it was. God damn it. Fuck ass, dude. What? I'm just, just wasting my time with these fucking... I'm going to have to find another set. Of, I'm just going to buy nice ones. Nice what? Like not Chinese. I'll find like just brand name. What do you mean? Can't you just go to fucking... Best Buy, I guess, some shit. No, they don't have shielded jacks. They often don't even have, like, like Cat 6A rated jacks. I don't even know the difference between Cat 6 and Cat 6A other than, I mean, maybe it's a wire gauge or something. But the, You're going to get letters, man. The issue is... You're going to get letters. I know. You got to stop You talking. already fucking did it. I'm just saying what's been going on in our day. They want to know. Yeah. There's some guy with candy all over his mouth in a dark room. He's like, that fucking... And just I'm the, just back the, to stealing the episode. Just the glare of a computer monitor on the... Like, glasses <laughs> held together by tape. And a smile is forming on his face as he opens up Gmail. And there's just bugs in his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of fucking... There's just, just trolley bright crawlers just fucking dripping out of his mouth. And, he's and he like, knows. He doesn't know the... He doesn't you know the wires like I know the wires. He finally knows that he's better than you. Know. I'm going to tell him about the wires. And then the subject, you fucking idiot. <laughs> this is how the wires go, you fucking, fucking moron. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. And then if you're you that never guy, heard about the fans. If you're that guy, if you're that guy, please find the courage in 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 your heart to come out to a show and say hi afterwards, and I will be nice to you, and all of that will be for naught. It will. Be you don't have to live your life like that, bro. You don't have to be like that. You can realize that everybody just turns into an old fucking tired faggot. Yeah, I'm and, exhausted. Uh, yeah, I'm not exhausted. I'm good. Wait, hold on. I have to actually check on something. What do you have to check on? My phone. One second. You have to check on your phone. Come on, bro. No, no, no. Don't leave me hanging. You know I'm just going to talk about the fucking wires. So here's the problem. Is um I'm trying to I'm just trying to visualize what's going on here, but these are these like toolless fucking Cat 6A shielded jacks and it's like it's got to be I I don't I don't even think I can't like I'm looking at it. It doesn't even look like the 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 uh, 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 what are the fucking the vinyl or whatever on the wires itself is being fully pierced by these fucking things, but then also the housing is grounded and there's just bare copper, like real close to where the fucking the the jacket for the thing is. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do some fucking research and. Because what's the point? This is this is how everything in my fucking life goes. I go overkill. I say, you know what? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. Even though there's no reason for it, I'm gonna get shielded cable. You know, and then I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right because this thing is gonna be. I'm telling you, there's gonna be XLRs going all throughout these fucking mm-hmm. all this strut channel is gonna be filled with cabling. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I might even do. There's gonna be runs to the lights if we control those over. Ethernet rather than uh, 
then what is it? D- DMX is the other option. Whatever the fuck that works, but and it's not even gonna be necessary because you know why? All the other shit is is shielded. Also, also we're ne- there is never going to be ten gig in here, and <laughs> if there is, we have a one year lease. If there is going to be 10 gig, mm-hmm. the move is just to run fiber back to the office, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and not have, not fuck around with, Yeah, because you're going to, it's, it's, what is it? When it's, when they do that, it, it'll be like a little like SFP module. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I know, but you were gone, so I had to go into this. I'm sorry. No, I really put you in a bed, you know, fucking, like, you don't like talking about your personal life and then mm-hmm. you fucking just expose your whole asshole to the internet. Mm-hmm. You told them you exposed your soul, mm-hmm. and now they're gonna fucking destroy you. Yeah, those bug mouth guys. <laughs> yeah, but see, I thought I was metering myself by not doing you know, saying fuck it. Let's put cat eight in here. I said six days all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have ten gig internet anywhere, like South Korea or something? Well, you can like. I mean, I, the truth is, I mean, some of this is wired. The Pentagon like, probably has. I do, we will need. Because in the other room is where I want to mm-hmm. put kind of like all the, you know, like the racks to archive stuff. Yeah. And um, you will need like, but that, you know, I mean, there's no, I can just like cut cable and, and put it into the other room mm-hmm. um, to have like 10 gig on the LAN, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. so like within the network. Yeah. And then I, I that's probably also not, uh, well, it, may, it might be necessary if you build like network storage to do video editing here. And we're shooting in like 8K or something, and then using network storage. Then, like potentially, maybe you need something faster than like gig. We're not shooting in 8K. We're shooting in like HD for some things. There's a larger plan. I know. We There's have a, a larger plan. A sexual plan. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> get sexual. a couple. We're gonna get a couple. We're gonna of, get some kids. We're gonna get a couple of black miners in here, and we're gonna do some comedy sketches. Mm-hmm. If you know what I'm saying. That's got to be the worst kind of pedophile. Is like the white guy that's fucking black kids. Yeah. You think in the pedophile community, they're like, come on, dude. Yeah. That's fucking racist. Yeah, you started a charity, dude. That's yeah. fucked up. Was Sandusky fucking black kids? Uh, he did it through his charity, right? Uh, I didn't watch yeah, the documentary. They did it for funny or die. And said the site found the website absolutely, or found the video absolutely disgusting. We were not involved with the conceptualization, development, funding of this project or video. It was uploaded to the site as a user generated content. It was removed in 2018. So it's out there. It's clearly out there. What, Robert De Niro? No, they're pedophile sketch. Is that your other phone? Yeah. I guess your phone's finally working, huh? Just wait. You know what? Pick up the phone. Give it three minutes. Mm-hmm. Three more minutes of the Adam Friedland show. It's your, yeah. it's your show. Don't forget. Adam's final thought with this one. How do you want to close it out? What do you want to talk about? This feels good. I don't know. Like, this doesn't feel like bad at all. The episode? I think we're f- we're f- we need to figure out how to keep this energy, mm-hmm. make the show funny, but this sort of pace. Energy. It's light. It's light, dude. It's, it's a light, light pace. It's very. It's. It's. You know what? Mm-hmm. It's a late night show, dude. It is late. This is. This is perfect. We're late at night. You right got to start listening to this podcast at two a.m., three a.m. Mm-hmm. with a glass of brandy and your smoking jacket. Yeah. While yeah. you're while you're sending angry emails about network, network <laughs> 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 cables. <laughs> Adam's final thought, guys. This is a thought on for Russia on a new year. We've been through a lot in this country mm-hmm. with a pandemic. A Trump size pen. Do you want to enroll in the Lee Strasberg? <laughs> should we get? Should we one hundred percent? Let's do it, dude. We should learn how to act. We should go to acting school. We should. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we should like yeah. We should have friends in our class yeah. be like, oh, dude, I think you did some great just, scene work just today. Just me sitting there, like fucking paying full attention to the professor, <laughs> leaning forward in the chair, fingers tented, but I'm wearing the Chinese teeth. <laughs> 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 Just trying to take it all in, dude. We gotta go. We mm-hmm. gotta learn how to method act. Yeah, we gotta learn how to access our. Sure, they have. They have to let us in there. 
right? We're yeah. famous. Yeah. We, Isn't that how college works? We'd probably be there. Columbia it's let not fucking... college. Columbia let fucking... What's his name? James Franco. James there. Franco just got, got to go to... Col- he went there to get pussy. He went there to get pussy and write, like, book reports <laughs> on, like, middle school assigned <laughs> reading. <laughs> yeah, he's like, today I read Hatchet. Yeah. No, literally. Yeah, <laughs> He would, like, review Hatchet for Vice magazine. <laughs> That's so funny. Mm-hmm. And get pussy. Well, um, folks, uh, we had fun with you. I have to piss. Adam is like, has to go to his phone. I know you're probably mad. No, I have to go home for Rosh Hashanah, dude. Oh, right. Rosh Hashanah. My girlfriend's right. making a Rosh Hashanah for I'm everyone. about to piss my fucking pants, dude. I She's making know. dinner, and I'm going to get in trouble. And I know her. people are like, whoa. And she's not a, Jewish. Uh, Nick has, this has is to piss. This is big of her as a non-Jewish girlfriend. Nick has to piss a lot. There must be something wrong. I'll tell you what happened. Because Adam requested, and he asked nicely. I got I got us a water cooler. He did. Shout out to Nick for getting the water cooler water and cooler. really nice Yeti water bottles. I got us matching Yeti water bottles. Dude, and we have matching backpacks. Too. And we have matching backpacks. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the same glasses as Adam. That's and we're both cool. we're both about to have ponytails too. <laughs> <laughs> we're both about to be ponytail. My hair is getting quite long. Um, right. But uh, but guys, yeah, thanks so for coming I, to the show. I'm drinking too much water, I'm guys. Thinking. Oh, this weekend I'm in Los Angeles on uh, Friday and Saturday. There's I don't know if there are tickets available. I'm gonna go to my website adamfreeland.com slash tour. I'm gonna be there hanging out, and then the weekend after Nick that, I think about there. the Houston Improv, guys. We need to put sell those H-Town. tickets. Houston Improv. I will be there. Not DJ this weekend. Screw. Weekend after next. Come, 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 come. Catch, catch me outside. Mm. Nick's, Nick's going to be oh. drinking uh, promethazine. Catch me outside. And codeine. Oh, catch me outside. <laughs> how about that? <dar? laughs> how about that? How about how you like me now? Catch me outside. Catch, catch me outside. How about that? Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what how were you saying? Japanese, what? <laughs> Black Lives Matter. <laughs> 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 yeah, I forgot about that. Is the Did the Japanese guy finding out about Black Lives Matter? <laughs> <laughs> Black Lives Matter. <laughs> oh, you don't share. Oh, Black Lives. Oh, Black Lives Matter. You don't share. <laughs> <laughs>